Well, good day, everybody. Today's gonna be slightly different, just more relaxed and casual. Kind of maybe like a point of view video, except instead of me strapping the camera to myself, I'm gonna have my daughter filming me. And you might see some breaks in the filming because it is very hot out here today. And since I'm using my cell phone, instead of, I don't have an actual expensive dedicated vlogging camera, the phone does overheat pretty quickly. So I might have to take a couple of breaks here and there. But I'm just out here, dead, dead center of the day. Sun's completely above us, about the hottest time of day. I think it's 92 degrees Fahrenheit out right now. Heat index, I believe is like 105. And I'm no, no flash, so no flash today. I'm gonna keep the camera on auto ISO. I'm just using the kit lens, the 40 to 150 with a Rainox 250 on it for the uh, macro. And, oh, I did leave the extension tubes on here also, so I'll go ahead and just leave them on. I'm not even gonna bother taking them off. All that really does is gives you a slight bit more magnification. Um, and we're just gonna walk around and have fun. I've, we've already walked all the way out here into the field and I've got the shaded area. And I'm seeing a couple of cobwebs here, so hopefully we can find some insects, maybe even some spiders. Okay, so, Basically, as soon as I just did my little introduction with you guys, I took one more step towards the bushes and there's this, I, I believe this is a type of orb weaver, but he just dropped down right in front of me as I kind of stepped towards him. I don't know for sure what kind of spider he is. I know he looks really cool, um, but I also don't want to get bit today either. Since he dropped down, the web's kind of, I don't know, if, can you get close enough so they can see it on that camera? He's kind of getting blown around right now because he dropped down. And obviously I can't get a, a photo of him like that. That's gonna be pretty difficult. I mean, I could probably sit here and try to get a few photos of him and maybe try to get some video of him for you guys. All right, well, we're still with the spider. What I did is I grabbed a stick and I actually got him to sit on the stick and got some photos of him. But after having him like that for a little bit, he kind of retreated back up into this little leaf that he's kind of curled up in, but his head is poking out at me and I think it would make for a really cool photo. So I have a bush behind me with stickers and thorns all over it, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into that anyway and see if I can actually get a really cool photo of his face here. Well, we're walking to our next spot now. I kind of wanted to, this, the spider, he just, he looked like he was getting uncomfortable and he wanted us to leave him alone, so. I decided to move on. We're heading to another spot now. What I love about this field is I find a pretty large variety of spiders out here. And I share those on some groups on Facebook that for people that study insects and stuff, and they always seem to appreciate those particular photos of the arachnids. And it just, for whatever reason, this particular location seems to have a lot of them, a lot of different species. And like that one, I just randomly run into him. It was almost like he was shooting down in front of us like as a defense almost, as soon as we got close. And thankfully I didn't walk into him, that would have freaked me out. Because I'm not one of those people, like I love spiders, I love to take photos of them. <laughs> I'm one of those people that I'm not happy if they get on me. But, um. Anyway, it's re what we're really trying to do here is kind of show people too that you don't need a flash, you don't need to worry about your ISO too much, and you can still get out here and take some pretty cool insect macro photography photos. Like I said, I'm just going to leave the ISO on auto, and I know I'm looking down a lot, that's because we have a lot of snakes in this location, so I apologize that I'm not looking at the camera, but I have to watch where I'm stepping. And so does my daughter, so if she's shaking the camera a bit, that's why. But uh, no flash, this is just natural light. And I think what a lot of people don't understand, because they see 
they see on uh, all these videos of people using the flashes and saying you have to use a flash to freeze the action. Well, you can use your shutter speed to freeze the action as well. Okay, well, we're not finding too much in this shaded area. We did just spot a butterfly here, but it's the cool thing is when I take the Raynox 250 off and I have just my extension tubes, I actually can have like a three or four foot minimum focusing distance. And so I can get some good images of the butterflies or dragonflies normally before they run away. But this one, it just wasn't having it. As soon as my daughter spotted it, oh, here we go. It's come back. So I'm gonna see if I can get some photos of this. Which, I'll uh, see. That's one of the issues too, is I can't manually focus on it quick enough to grab the image. But that is, that's a good four foot distance and it's still a really good photo. So I'm gonna try sit here because he seems to keep jumping back and forth on these little flowers here. There's even a couple that keep coming over here. We're gonna see if we can get some images of this butterfly. I'm not sure what kind it is, so if you guys know what kind of butterfly this one is, let us know. And um, I'll put those up now, and then we'll head to another spot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head to our next spot. I sat here with these flowers for quite a while. I'm actually incredibly out of breath because I was bending over and kind of holding my weight, trying to keep still. And it's so hot out here. A little more difficult than it probably looks. But they have, we had what, I don't think that was actually a butterfly. I think that was a moth that came in here. And I think I do have some shots of it. Not quite what I was looking for, though. Then I had a bee come in. I had a little green beetle. I had a dragonfly. And I think there was one other insect. So I sat here for a while, basically just standing here waiting for them to land on these flowers in front of me and then just taking the shots. Because I'm in the shade uh, and the wind started blowing, I actually raised my shutter speed pretty high, which raised my ISO to 5,000 at one point, I believe. Might have even hit 6,400 at one point. But um, I think the images will still come out and it'll kind of give you guys an idea too, how you don't have to really be afraid of uh, using the higher ISOs. That was hard. So I got over to the shaded area and dragonfly, one I haven't gotten a photo of yet, was there in the shade of my body, which I haven't photographed them today because every time my shade hit them, they'd run away. And unless my camera and the insect is in the shade, I couldn't really take a photo of them. I can't even see the screen on my camera unless I'm shading it with my body. But I got over here and it just happened. He was in the perfect spot so to keep him from flying away, I basically didn't move my feet, which as you can see, this isn't a great stance on my feet. I, you know, they're not spread out or anything. And then I kind of just kept leaning forward all the way out there using all my core muscles uh, to keep me still. And I do believe I actually got a photo of him, which is pretty cool. But being as hot as it is right now and how much effort that took, 
that's that's all it was that, that just that little bit right there took all the breath out of me i mean that tells you guys how hot it is out here um you know when you're doing your hikes out here in this weather and this heat honestly you you don't move fast i mean you just nice casual slow you know you don't you don't exert yourself otherwise you just overheat pretty much instantly plus i think we all know from maybe watching my videos i need to lose some weight <laughs> which i am working on by the way but um i think i'm gonna stop it there with the insects but i want to show you guys something before i uh, end this video so if you pan the, the camera this way there's this this plant right here and if she, she'll come over here and get closer to this so you guys can really see go ahead and get real close so you can they can see all the thorns on this and everything so make sure don't go too fast make make sure it's focused on there back out a little bit you don't have to be that close but you guys can see there's thorns all over these there's even thorns on the leaves now this vine which come back over to me we get this everywhere in florida so if anybody's ever here in florida it grows across the ground and even in big fields like this you won't even see it and you'll just be walking and it'll come right across your shin it'll make you go face first into the ground and it'll shred your shin to pieces one of the good reasons it's good to wear those tall long uh good boots out here in florida so i just wanted to point that out because i know a lot of people that are not raised here in florida probably never even experienced these things um I, we actually have a funny name for them out here and i just can't recall what it is right now probably because i'm so hot but um that's it guys i just wanted to get out here have a quick walk with you guys share it with you show you guys how you don't always need a flash or you don't always have to keep that iso low it's not something to be paranoid over even though everybody will tell you otherwise everybody will tend to tell you you have to have a flash too and it's just not true um some guys even get out here and they're they're a lot more patient and they'll, they'll use a tripod with a macro focusing rail no flash and they'll come out in places like this to learn the insects, to learn the area. Definitely takes a lot more patience, but I can promise you those guys go home with some videos they're much happier with, or photos that they're much happier with. So that's all it's about. Get out here, have a good time, spend some time with your family, take some photos. I'll see you guys in the next video.